JA253. You awake from your cryopod like you've done so many times before. Your life knows the deep sleep of the pod exponentially more than you know its waking life. You're the first to wake. Your gene type always does. And I'm sure the rest are not far behind. You feel an anxiousness wash over you as you remember. It's the final wake. No more 100 year sleeps. Everyone's lives and deaths have been leading to this final wake. Hello, Shepard. J-A-3-5-3-0. Oh, I'm sorry. Two, five, three. I'm so glad you are awake. You have always been a light sleeper. That's true, Davina. I'm sure your brothers and sisters will not be far behind. Would I'm... you like to see it? And you know immediately what it is that Davina speaks of. The it is Phobos stuff of legend. Your sole reason for existence. Davina just asking if you would like to see it means it must be true. Everything you spent a lifetime to avoid. Convincing yourself that it was all just some lie. But the it, apparently, does exist if Davina is asking it if you want to see it. Show, show me. For the first time in human history, it is in rain. It has a form that can be seen. Whatever excitement or dread you may feel from that realization is short-lived as it's very quickly followed by the knowledge and acceptance that everyone and everything you have come to know will be dying soon if it is all true. Ah, your little sister is awake, as expected. Um, a very small girl, identical to yourself, but 10 years prior, or it's probably a small, 10 to 12 year old girl JA262 also known as Button rubs her eyes as she grabs onto your hand Thistle are we there yet? We're here we're here and that is where we begin chapter 1 of the pods went through their wake-up process. You've all made your way down to, we'll say the conference room, where 12 of the clones on board have gathered. You do notice one clone is missing. JA239 also known as Granny. <laughs> I have unfortunate news. JA239 was unable to survive her wake from Chronos sleep. The chances of her survival to this point were admittingly low. She lived a long life and served her position well. She will be missed. Are the rest of us there? 
all of you are in this room, in this conference room. So there are now 12 lives on board the ship. We're just a moment, as long as, as far as you knew, there were 13. Mm. As you've all awoken from your 100 years sleep, And we've all seen uh, Phobos now. No. Oh. You've so been called into the room. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> so why have we been waking, woken up? We're well, here. Fir first off, I know that's very distressing news for us to hear, you know, with, uh, with Granny passing away before the final I am wake. sorry for your loss. Our condolences for, for your loss. Um, thank that's you. All. Thank you. Um. SP361, also known as Book current captain of the ship. Get on with it, Davina. No point mourning the inevitable. You said that you have it in range. Is this true? A holographic image appears above the conference room table. It appears to be an asteroid. The signal that started our journey generations ago leads us to here. It looks like a rock. Uh, that's... That's I Phobos. Don't, I don't know why I expected it to be something... I... Yeah. Like a... I don't know. I've... Been, I've heard stories of, of giant organs comprising of a big creature. I... I've been that reading about Davina, a lot is that of features. Phobos? You were telling us that is Phobos. The scans that brought us here point to yes. So it's on there. This is where the original signal that I captured so many years ago leads to. It's inside? It I do not know. This is wonderful news, Davina. What is our course of action? Book stands up. All right, everyone. This, <clears throat> as we all know, this is our final wake. If Davina says that this rock is the god of fear, then we got a job to do. I'm ready. What are our orders? Davina, I need to know what the chances are that you could be wrong. Or it could be close by. How do we know that maybe it's not somewhere we can't see it? I'm sure, Davina, you've run a scan of the area, but if we're going to unleash our nukes on this rock, we want to be damn well sure that it's the right target it's not or like all this trip will be for nothing. Yeah, it's not like we can create more. Are you questioning my systems? I'm not questioning you. I'm questioning Davina. Uh, that was unnecessarily confrontational. I care very deeply about Davina's systems. You are questioning her calculations, Captain. It, it was a simple question. But she could be, you know... Davina could be wrong. She could, but what else would that be? Well, why don't we let well, Davina answer Well, we could just keep looking. Find out. I have been wrong before. I am not perfect. But the signal leads to here. It would be wrong for me to say that I am 100% certain. What is your certainty percentage? 72%. How far That's is, a lot. How far is it away from us? Does your uh, percentage of uh, probability increase the closer we are? We are three days from contact. And is it safe? Uh, I know... What would it take for you to be closer to 100% sure, Davina? Do you think in those three days you would be able to raise that percentage or...? Possibly. If there was any sort of reading coming off of the asteroid, that would help. As of right now, the asteroid is... a rock. I have no signs of life or any energy readings whatsoever. You've scanned all frequencies? Yes. 
Uh, it was said before that we don't have any more nukes. Uh, we've, we have. We have enough to get the job done. Yes, if we have enough nukes to do what needs to be done, but I can't waste them in the off yes, chance exactly. that this is just a rock, that is and behind it is some terrible godlike yeah. creature. Yes, yes, right. we have. We, yeah, we have thousands of. Uh, generations behind us for this one task if we blow it in this one mistake we need to be more certain before we can pull the trigger as they say well book i mean sorry captain uh it's fine what is it that you recommend that we should do i mean we have the three days to get to the rock uh, the phobos one thing i will say is uh it is known uh, by my lineage that Phobos has powers of manipulation through dreams and visions to induce fear, trauma, and such abilities. Uh, my only concern is the closer we get, the closer it has to affect us. Well, your, your elder, JR471, who also goes by the name Red, okay. stands as you say this. Are you implying ocean that you've experienced one of these no, visions because if you have you should have reported I have it not, to me i i definitely have I mean, no i definitely have not but this is red you know this is what we've been told these it has these abilities and we though we're not experiencing now one can assume the closer we get the more influence it has okay but ocean i would hope that you know since i'm in charge of psychological yes. evaluations of the ship that if you have any feelings or yes. or you've had any anything that has been going Understood. on that you would let acknowledge me know. I would never endanger the the uh and I'm sure you understand sip that ocean and myself are the most qualified to understand what these visions might be and what they're trying to tell us as we are the keepers of the ancient texts yes book we all know this we oh, all this is this is um red Oh, yes, Red. We all know this. We all have uh, our specialty, and I would not endanger the, the program to not reveal such things as that. But because it would be a very long and wasted trip would, to have someone's ego get in the way of the mission. You don't have to worry about me. Um, I've got a very clear head. But I just wanted to make that warning from based on our texts that it has these abilities that we may come across the closer we are in that... Uh, objective of becoming closing and r increasing that probability that it might be um it is phobos jr492 also known as pond a 14 year old clone kind of an asshole this is bullshit i don't no ocean you said that when we woke up we we were going <clears> to <throat> We we're finally gonna meet God, and and th th it's just a rock. This is. We're going to meet God to destroy God. I'm aware of my teachings, but <laughs> was this all for nothing? You we have a mission. Hey, Pon. Honestly, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm with you, man. Uh, it's kind of anticlimactic, right? But we've. This is what we've. This is our purpose. Whether it's a rock, whether it's a squid, whether... <sighs> Look. This is just... We don't know what God looks like. We've been told stories... I bet Davina knows. Davina, do you know what God looks like? I have... Memories. I don't believe... I've ever seen its true form before I was stripped of its influence I saw many things none of which I'm quite sure resemble that of this Phobos well Davina you have the technology and diagnostics and uh, memories you would best know uh, what to fire our nukes at if you are certain we should fire now, which uh, I'm not sure if I... I heavily advise against that, I would especially say. before we are in rain. Yes. 
I just wanted to bring up my concern that uh, it does have these powers. May we make an agreement that if anyone notices anyone acting strangely, we then, make note of it officially? Then yes, most definitely we let me know yes. right away. And in fact, um, actually, book that does bring up, uh, Captain, that does bring up a really good point. Um, Your maybe Captain now is kind of like circling the group at the conference table as she puts her hands on your shoulders and just kind of trying to calm you down a little and relax you and pats you on the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should uh, step up the the rounds of uh, psychological evaluations. I mean, now uh, that there are 12 of us and we are on the final wake. I think that's a good idea. Um, and a good course of action moving forward. Look, we've all been trained for this. We've all been properly prepared for what we're going to encounter. Davina's ensured that through her experience with this godlike entity that we have a good idea of what we might be going up against. So just remember your training, remember what you've been taught. If you are encountering any sorts of doubts for your reason for being here, your mission, or even doubts about your own well-being, please do have a sit down with Sip. Make sure to follow up on this. And I'm sorry I was so crass earlier, Thistle. I, I know every time we lose one another, it can be hard. Yes. Um, thank you. I just, it's all coming to a head now. And I just thought, I thought she would have, I hoped she would have lived to see our purpose. She knew long ago she wouldn't make it to the end. I, I know. Fortunate that we've had her for as long as we have. She was a great addition to really the nice. ship. Thank you. She will be deeply thank, missed. Thank you. Thank you. In a way, we're all very fortunate to be in this room right now. The generations that get to complete the journey so many generations before us could not. I think we should be thankful that we get to have such a glorious end. Yes, ma'am. So close. Now, first things first, we need to figure out if this rock is in fact Phobos. Now, Constant updates with Seb. And Davina, make sure to keep running those scans on the clock constantly. As we get closer, maybe it's possible we can use one of our short range energy weapons to propel something towards its surface. Captain. Right. A maybe definite. it just needs to be woke up. Yeah, maybe um, that will, you know, be a catalyst to some sort of reaction and then we can be 100% sure. Captain. Yes. Would you like me to try and work with Davina to enhance her frequency scans? If that's something that you think you're capable of doing, then of course, Sparks. Um, Node, and she looks over to BW181, your elder, Sparks. And Node just kind of nods at the captain. Doesn't say much. Okay. Well, that's, that's, I, th I think that's a good plan. Um, now, obviously, first things, outside of everything that was just mentioned, we all, we all have a job to do on the ship, and I think all systems should be checked out. We've been asleep for a while. This is a long one. Uh, so let's make sure everything is operational and up to code. And everyone should definitely schedule some time to sit down with SIP and make sure that... Look, I think a, a really good... Uh Thing, you know, as a, a bonding activity for everyone, is that, well, this is a cause for celebration. We have made it to the final wake. We have made it to Phobos, or the closest that any generation has come to Phobos. And I believe that we should have a, we should have a celebratory breakfast. Uh, would that be okay, Thistle? I mean, we should have some, something like that, or at least a celebratory dinner to look forward to. Yes, I, I, I think it would be helpful to 
celebrate and just think of Granny's life in a positive way. Yes, it would also be a memorial for her. This definitely is an occasion, uh, a momentous occasion for all of us, for the generations of humanity behind us. And we are the ones that go forward to fulfill that purpose. This is a moment. This yes. definitely is a moment. Perhaps we have um, built Phobos so much in our minds that we were a bit disappointed when we saw another space rock. But I think we can definitely Do get over that. Do not take Phobos lightly. Yes. You are all that is left of humanity. Do not forget what brought you here today. That's right. And the sacrifices that had to be made. At any moment, you see yourself thinking lightly of Phobos. Reevaluate your position. Davina, so we are well aware of the weight that is on us, but one cannot exist underneath that weight for the entire time because that much weight will break someone's spirits. So it is okay for us to be celebratory for today and then look on to tomorrow for more work. As the captain, I agree with Sip and we all know by now Davina is not... Well, there's a reason there's humans on this ship, so we'll say that. Thank you, Captain. So, so carry on. Um, first things first, though. Uh, Sparks, do you mind having a quick sit down with Sip and her yes, quarters and just do a quick evaluation? Prior to the engaging with Davina? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. There's just some, uh, my, uh, cryo reports I here. I, I understand that. It's just, um, cryo reports here show a lot of, uh, rim activity, um, towards the end of the cryo sleep. Lots of... It's quite possible my pod was faulty. Either way, uh, just a, a real quick evaluation. Of course. Would Absolutely. be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... The captain leaves the conference room. Now, in the rest of the conference room, just for the to kind of round out who wasn't introduced in that scene, you've got the youngest um, that we introduced from the JA line 262 button in the room, the about 12 year old young girl. You have SP382, also known as Glue. Which is a small ten year old girl. There's BW one one zero two, also known as Plug. Fifteen year old girl. And then you all met JR four nine two, otherwise known as Pond, and JR four seven one, known as Red. BW181 node and your captain SP361 book. Oh, there's one more. Uh, JA's elder also known as Bella. The official cook on board. What's her code? JA241. Thank you. So, the captain leaves the room. Uh, the rest of you are left in there. The hologram of the rock just kind of spinning. Hmm. All these years for this. Like you said, I expected it to be more. It Vince. might be more. It might be r hiding right behind that rock, and that rock is causing disturbance for your diagnostics. We don't know yet. I don't imagine an evil thing would want to hide. Would need to. It glue it fears humans too. Kind of pulls on Sip's coat. Hey, what's going on, little one? <sighs> so we're having a dinner. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a. It's, it's gonna be something to lift our spirits a little bit. Does that mean I don't have to get right back to reading and can wait a little bit? Well, that's dinner, and right now it's the beginning of the day, so. <sighs> It would be best for you to stick with your studies, but that does mean that when it comes closer to dinner, you don't have to then. Well, what's the point? We're all going to die soon. 
Well, we live before we die, right? And when you live, you have to have a, a way to better oneself. And we are on a spaceship <laughs> in the middle of, well, space. What better way to better yourself than to expand your mind in the time that you have? We have a very important mission. It's special, as are you. And you never know when and what you learn might end up elongating that life or helping us out. Okay. I guess so. I'll go read. She likes reading less than you. I honestly think that you are probably the first SP in the history of SPs that doesn't mm. love reading. It just seems kind of pointless to have all this knowledge and when we die it just all goes away. But we don't know that for sure. Don't you have something to say on the afterlife? Uh, I don't have in the afterlife? For comfort. <sighs> you hear Red I on the other side of the room start laughing with like a deep belly laugh. <laughs> hey, gl gl Yeah, for comfort, Ocean. For comfort. You know what comforts me, Glue? And I turn to a uh, little Glue. This book, and it's uh, the book of Anna. Anna. It's basically filled with... Uh, Tales of life and on earth and the beauty it's one ha once had and I, I show the book and I said You know how I chose my name? Ocean Imagine this water as far as the eye could see. Blue, green I've read the textbooks We also polluted that water and made it uninhabitable Some parts, yes But that's not the whole of humanity. There's a lot of beauty in humanity it's we true, starved over 60% of the planet before it died. Yes, we here we are, surviving. We're clones. Because humanity did not survive. We are valid as they were. We are possibly more with our mission. And I'm very proud of all the facts that you're throwing down. There's a lot of beauty if you look for it. Take another look. And look for it this time. She takes the book from you. But in doing so, she kind of looks up at Sip uh, for approval because this is not a book <laughs> that they're usually allowed to read, the, the book of Anna. It's okay. Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's okay. Um, <laughs> keeping it's okay. in mind, I uh, remember that conversation that we had about um, contradictory facts and what those can mean, those facts. I understand. Keep that in mind while you are reading that book. Okay, I will look for the brighter side of things, Ocean. Red, perhaps you could be more empathetic towards the children. They have not learned yet the hardships I don't of see any point in lying to these children. What We've is all the point? had to come to terms with our end. What's the point in enlightening them that they are so young? Let them live, let them play. Let them play. We're sending them to their death days from now. Let yeah. them enjoy these days, Red. So we lie. It's you fine. You should try to. Looking for hope from a Nas text is not the way I would perceive that, Ocean. That's your interpretation, and I understand that. It is not always the interpretation of the JRs, though. I understand that you might feel that there's some hope in all of this, in his writings, but that is not... That is not typically how we choose to see things. I just see life uh, wherever there are life. Though we are clones, uh, we, are, we are still life. And we are meant to cherish that life and... Do some good with it. Yes. Exactly. One, one and could even say that we're a triumph. I will say, and I will say that Phobos there is, stands in opposition of everything and that ideal of life. And so we have to cherish what we have until then and um, I guess. Do our best. Do our best. Sure. But don't you feel like all we are is our purpose once we've done that? I'm glad to have Isn't that what? That is literally 100% all we are. Isn't that what every life form but is? But they, they are their purpose? No. But once it's done... Actually, 
if there's any hope in all of this this will let me let me give you this yes the book of Anah is filled with dread and all of the terrible things that were to come from Phobos but he also speaks of a humanity without purpose meandering wandering left to their own devices if you take any positive thing I guess out of any of this we at least have something we are exactly that created for one singular thing to do one job to somehow keep this Divina running long enough to somehow stop everything that came before us I will say that I see that as at least some form of enlightenment I can't even imagine an existence where your purpose is left unknown right I don't I don't know where those doubts came from if you would like to talk about it after I'm done with Sparks Thistle, I'm, I would definitely um, have time. Yeah, I, you know what, it'll probably, it'll pass, it's fine. Oh, and, and I could help plan for tonight in any way that I can help. I mean, I'm not much of a cook, obviously, oh. that's, <laughs> it's you and no, Bella, it's, but, uh, well. That's a, no, uh, that's really appreciated, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let you know if we need any help, thank you. I'll, I'll swing by. Sure. So the little hologram in the middle of the table disappears, signifying Davina has moved on to some other aspect of the ship, uninterested in this continuing conversation. Uh, none of you really take notice to it, um, except you, Sip, uh, upon its disappearance on the bottom of the table the ring that kind of shows the holographic image waiting for its input is just a small circle with a light that spins continuing as you kind of get lost and this spin as Spark. sparks waits for you as the rest of you kind of exit the room I really should be getting to my task. Oh, yes, yes. Um, mm, uh, where where would be the best place for you? I want you to feel as comfortable as possible. We can do this um, in I'm my quarters. I'm very happy to do it here to get it over with, actually. In the conference I, I'm room? just looking forward to working with Davina on enhancing her scanning. Oh, okay, yes, um, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to keep it very informal. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not like the formal evaluation since we're stepping it up a bit. <laughs> so uh, just tell me... Um, how was your latest sleep? Now, before you get into that, thanks to the chat, you're going to get to go a little deeper with this session than you most likely would as your character usually. Um, you do have a flashback, so I say we tie that flashback into your little session here. Are we able and to mute everyone else? Yeah. I can. Keep it secret from them. Uh, oh my god, Mike! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, jelly bean spill. I can do that, and uh, I would also like to say that Sip, you too have a flashback. So, <gasps> in connecting, maybe you share something as well. But uh, we can definitely make sure nobody else hears what you have to say. Test, test. Can anybody else hear me? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only I can hear you. Who is that? <laughs> oh my God! Don't listen. <laughs> no, no. Oh no, no. no. This gonna... this flashback. You do have What's to share with her. It's been between How? the two of us. Because you're we're having you're having a session with her. Oh, we're, we're having a it's therapy a session right now. A shared flash. Oh, it's one. We're something I would session. share. Mm. Yep. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you're having a session. Um. So Sip pulls out um her ThinkPad that is linked to the ship's database. So records um all all of the sessions and all uh, information it can pull up. Any um biological information from any of the patients. Mm. Like, mm, so, please, um, whatever comes to mind, go ahead and uh, please be aware feel free that to I share. I have not had a chance to check the systems yet upon waking, that your readouts could be faulty. You may get a more viable readout later, but... I understand. When Sip asked about her sleep, Sparks goes a bit white, and 
It's a little sweaty on her brow. I have a feeling that um, you have something that you'd like to share. I just had a dream. It was all. Conversation with Davina. As usual, that she's the one I talk to most. Was she a disembodied voice? No, she was herself. Okay. It was a dream as I have had before. I do not know why the readings are <laughs> as they are. Okay, please continue. What was the conversation about? And how did you feel in the dream? You guys don't need to do this, by the way. Yeah. You should be okay, yeah. Do you not recall the exact topic? Probably talking about her scans. She said that she found something, and... That was it. That's exactly what happened. I feel like there's more, and that you're holding back. Perhaps I am weakened from the cryo sleep. Perhaps we could revisit this conversation after I've had a chance with work with Davina and rest. I think that now is not the best time to bury yourself in work. I feel like you should get this. But we have arrived at our destination. We must find out what that is. So let's deal with this now, so it doesn't affect your work later. Wouldn't you hate for you to not discuss things with me now, and then you end up hurting Davina in some way later? I would absolutely never hurt Davina. My mission is to protect her at all costs. Then you must be at your uh, utmost, and it's best to talk now. I'm afraid I still feel tired. Perhaps I could have some time to think about this and we could revisit this after dinner when I have a clearer idea of how I feel and how I felt mm. I appreciate your time so, so thank you maybe to get her to open up you could share a flashback uh, cryo sleep isn't as invigorating and refreshing as it should be and I know this for a fact. Um, my last sleep, for instance, I had this reoccurring, well, I don't think it was a nightmare so much as it was like I was lost. It was like I didn't know, I didn't know the ship that I've been on my entire life and I just continued to walk in circles around different facets of the ship. I just walking round and round. Nothing was familiar to me. It was as if I was a stranger in my own life, in my own home. It's particularly difficult for an SP, and we come from a lineage of uh, scholars, to... I, I studied up on it, and the closest I could come to the feeling of it was a type of amnesia or a type of Alzheimer's, and it was absolutely terrifying for me. May I make an observation? It sounds like you are envisioning your past clones' lives and how terrified they must have been when they discovered what they were and where they were. That they, they but not them, had walked these floors before. But it was still unfamiliar to them. I can see how that would be terrifying. You must feel awful. It was extremely unpleasant. Um, so actually, I ended up finding comfort later on in the circle and in walking because at least that was something that I knew. Is that why you like the light so much on the table? Well, that is pretty. It is. I mean, I kind of wish that um, one of the lines of our lineage were artists mm. so that we could have something fashionable. I've read up on it and it seemed to be quite the thing. Perhaps in your free time you could study the arts. Well, we have three days. Are you sure there's mm -hmm. nothing else that you'd like to share with me since I shared with you? Sometimes I have nightmares. But I don't think much of them. What are they? Passing thoughts and fears. I'm sure everyone here has them. What specifically? Nothing specific. Then how about we continue our session after dinner? Sounds like a good plan. Sparks gets up immediately and walks to go talk to Davina. As Sparks gets up, 
you kind of look down at your pad that you've been taking your notes on and you've drawn circle after circle after circle after circle you've not transcribed any of your conversation just a collection of circles over the entire pad of paper whoa hmm. we well, cut that's peculiar do you need we, to bring them back in we cut to thistle in the kind of uh, common area of the uh, the galley of the upper deck where you're helping Bella prepare and get ready the food for the upcoming dinner. I just, do you think this is it? Do you think this is it? There's, uh, there's a part of me that thinks it can't be because I mean, all we've ever known was prepare prepare and now and now it's this and and I I know I know that everyone else is is ready everyone seemed so happy that the moment was finally here but I, I just kept thinking we've never known this moment to be here so how do we know I did I don't know I I don't either. I I guess we're never the types to know. Really? Yeah. Just No. You know, we just just, just take care of everybody, but Yep. It's just nobody asks us for our insight. <laughs> but I don't know if I have any. I don't think I do. I just I guess I... I don't feel ready. Isn't that a strange thing to say? That I don't feel ready when all we've been doing is getting ready and... I guess I, I, I understand. I feel the exact same way. I, I feel... I mean, how could we be ready? It's, this is the only life we've ever known, and if everything goes as planned in a couple of days, it will be over. And we've been told, we've been taught our entire lives that that's good enough that that's all we needed was to know that the completion of this was all that mattered but now that it's here and it's it's in our direct foreseeable future it doesn't feel right knowing that we're all gonna die and does that mean there's something wrong does that mean because I think it's just natural for all of us to be afraid of death. Oh, but we're not supposed to. But they can tell us not to, but it doesn't change the fact that we're in some way, shape, or form kind of human. You know, we we, we were made from something, a person who most likely feared death. I just... I'm afraid that this makes me less suited for our cause because I have doubt because we have doubt maybe that's why they keep us as providers caretakers so that we would know when to worry well the what do you think if you do I don't know if you do, and maybe it's just a a me thing. What do you think Brady Ly Riley was... I just... Why us? I think about that all the time. Why us, of all the people to send on this mission? Why did Director Riley send us? Well, there's, you know, we're, we're told that we're, this is our mission, that we're special and that we, this is what we're made to do, but I can't help but feel like it's so casual. I... But you know, there has, right, there has to be... A reason 
to put all of humanity on us. These personalities, these traits that we share, are we the best humanity had to offer? Uh, if we were, then we're more doomed than I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, whoo! Uh, so... I'm gonna go set the table. Yeah. Uh, if you can just keep... Yeah. Getting, getting everything ready. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be right back, okay? Hey, don't, um... Don't tell Button we talked about this. I wouldn't. She's just like you were, and like <laughs> I was, I guess. Uh, she's not ready. But I'll, I'll be back. Sure. Sure. So you hear her kind of walk out to the opposite side, just a couple rooms away to the common area. You can hear the dishes kind of being put down as she's setting the table. And you feel just a slight tug on your shirt as you look down and you see Button. Hey. Hi, Thistle. Hey, Button. You ready for dinner? It's gonna be... I get to remember Granny. Yeah, I miss... I miss Granny, though. Yeah, me too. Why? You know why. We live as we are to die. Constantly. No, I meant why are we... Why are we doing this? Oh. The celebration? Or... Phobos. Any of it? Crap. Uh, we're doing it because we have a purpose. This is our purpose. We're supposed to... We are made to confront Phobos. And we're the best ones to do it. Remember? Why? Because we were picked. We were picked. By Brady. Brady Riley. You've got strength in you that you don't know about. I doubt it all the time. But you have strength in you that will surprise you and will be so unexpected in how it can lift you up. It, I know it sounds like nonsense now, but it'll make sense. Okay. As you turn and kind of move a pot over from one burn to the next, and you turn back around, Button seems to have slipped, slipped off, possibly satisfied with your answer. Or not. Who knows? But you kind of left to yourself for just a moment as you then start to hear the sounds of the silverware in the other room. <laughs> and then you feel a tug as you look down and you see Button sitting below you. Hey, Button. I miss Granny. Me too. Why? Uh, why did Granny? No, why are we doing this? Uh, hey, Button, you don't. We just talked about this. Uh, you know what? Why don't you go see if, um, why don't you go see if Bella needs any help setting the table? Okay, kiddo? Okay. And you watch her kind of run okay. out to the other room. As you hear, you know, Bella in the other room, like, Button, what do you want? What do you need? What are you here for? And you hear them kind of having a conversation. <clears throat> um, we're going to cut really quick down to Ocean. Hmm. Ocean, where did you go when the meeting dispersed? Uh, I went to talk to Pond and uh, Red just to kind of get our compare notes and see, it, make sure that we're on the, on the same wavelength in terms of our purpose. So the, the JRs are having a little meeting. Yeah. Um, we're gonna say, well, where did where do you where did you call this meeting to? 
Uh, just the, the first area that I could pull them both uh, out of earshot of everyone. Uh, so okay. So here's the conference room here. Okay. Yeah. So you could you could take them. Sick bay. You yeah. 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 So. Right there across the room. Talking to everybody in yeah. sick bay. So Red's kind of leaning back in one of the sick bay chairs. Why do you do that? What? You spread your cynicism off to everyone, and is it <laughs> not our our pur purpose to on the ship? Our job is to keep, you know, the faith and belief in these people, and increase morale, and make sure that they're on the right track. Morale. Our job is to increase well morale. It's not necessarily morale. We but are here to spread the good word of a nah. That is all I signed up for. Uh, what uh, What about you, Pond? As Pond's kind of over in the corner. I don't give a shit about any of this. He's young. <laughs> so, maybe you're the one that's a little out of whack. JRs have always been a little bit. Yeah. I, yeah. And yeah, yeah I, I'm getting that with, with them more so <laughs> than the people in the show. I know, he's literally saying this Oh, I'm you. sorry, I'm sorry. As he's looking yeah. at you. Listen, our job is to keep the faith, and if you s tr keep on spreading the, the worst of, of humanity, then they're not going to have that faith and belief. They're going to wonder why they're, they're meant to even do this. Why were they meant to do this, Ocean? Just, you know, humor me for a little bit. Why are you special? Why am I special? Why are they special? Nothing in a Nas text mentions anything about us. To be honest, Reid, I don't think we are special. I don't either. You've you've read the book. It's filled with prophecies and and, and even this mission, this idea. There's a spark of it in there. Now I know the SPs would do everything in their power to refute that claim, but you know that that that's their purpose. Whatever we know, it wasn't Brady that put this all in motion. We know a nah is the right word, but in that right word that said all of this, we're not there. We don't matter. Byproducts. Have you know what I believe? Is that a failed mission? A failed mission. A failed mission. And what was the purpose or objective of this mission before it failed? I don't know. I wasn't a part of it. You weren't either. Nowhere in Anaz text is anything mentioned about us. What I'm saying is we have a job on the ship. Now, n I don't, even though I agree we're not special, I don't think that's what we should tell these people. I think we're all gears in this working machine and we have to do our part, which is... I, I, I do agree with you, I think it's Ocean, our that we, we have to destroy this creature as Anaz's mission, as Anaz's text say are the only way to right this world yes the human world the world will never get to be a part of mind you now that we do this and what are, what are we're, we're clones we know this Davina has made it very clear that we understand that when a generation down another will be made we've seen it happen over and I, I've been witness to it now twice with you and idiot yeah. over there but <laughs> Look, I, I get it, okay? I, I read through... You know what? I read, I probably read... Even though you're older than me, I probably read that book more than you have. You I, know? Wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. It takes you longer to comprehend things for some reason. And, here, and, and now you just want to spread all this kind of hate from it. Not hate, but you, you, you can't... You don't... Your myth it's is... It's not hate, Ocean. It's not hate. It's the reality. The reality that we are nothing. I'm saying... we are... Yes. We, we are disposable. Would you ever think about this? What? I know I think about it. So <sighs> I'm sure you do too. 
I think you just lie to yourself. Uh, hey, you know You're what? So idealistic. I remember that. I remember when I had that. What if they're all still alive? Humans? What if we're clones? Why aren't humans on this ship? Why is the only recorded human on this ship some Brady Riley? Well, Riley? Who the who the hell is a Riley? It, it is nowhere in his texts. Well, so but here we are. They dis disposable genes. Disposable biomass sent hurling into space. What if they're all still alive? And we, and we're just we're we're just on a mission told that it's to save humanity. But humanity's fine. We just got to believe it to make sure the job gets done. And so you're saying you're taking you're refuting everything in what we've been taught the book of Anan everything. That's what you're you're trying to say. I'm saying if you read it the right way. Look, I agree. <laughs> We're nothing, okay? I agree that, you know, that's where you and I see eye to eye. But I'm just, what I'm saying, our methodology in terms of what we need to do on the ship is not tell everyone they're nothing. I, we need to be able to tell them to keep that faith and belief until we kill that God. That they, everyone has purpose and, <sighs> and the life means something, okay? That's what I'm saying. I'm with you. I don't know if... I mean... Have what? you ever asked Davina... What? What happens next? After we kill the god? Yeah. Best case scenario. You ever ask her? I've never thought that far. Yeah, most of you don't. Have you? Yeah. What did she say? We starve. Slow, meaningless death. So we kill this thing. We succeed. The one-way ticket. Not enough food to get back. Not enough fuel. Cryo sleep couldn't even save us. We just starve. Everybody likes to throw around that when it's done, we all die. The end of the mission. We go out in some blaze of glory. Unless we set one of those nukes off in here, it's not how this is going to go down. So what was what have your thoughts been after that then? What have you what's your conclusion? My conclusion is I'm not going to tell everyone it's going to be okay. Are you still on the mission to kill the god? Is of course. What I'm of and course. And you're not going to do anything to endanger that, right? No, Ocean. They're they're right there at the sick bay with those loud voices. Could they be heard in the conference room? Roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, you got ten dice. All right. Wow, well, a good question. Thank you. I was like, how much of this are we getting? All right, there's six there. No, wait. No, yeah. no, that's a five. What am I looking at? I should have got know. everyone to go oh, silent, oh like, <laughs> like you did, Kate. Ugh. All right, there's Ooh. two sixes there. Those are sixes. How many ones? No ones so far. Okay, don't have to use any of that hope, I guess. Okay, Ooh, so three one. sixes and a one. Put that off to the side. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use one of the hope for this one. Three sixes. All right. Um. I'm going to say you hear the tail end of that when their voices got elevated a little bit. What are we talking about in the tail end? We're talking about... Uh, oh, yeah, so that we, what happens mission. afterwards. Oh. And you also hear that... You do hear them discussing that he's... Has... He's still on board with still the mission. Still on board with yeah, the yeah, mission. Yeah. But you do hear about uh, starving to death and his concerns. Yeah. Um, I duck my head into sick bay. Hey! <coughs> oh! Look who it is. Yeah, it's me. Um, Here for our evaluations? Sip. Yeah, I'm just making my rounds, Red. Of course, know. of course. Because, you know, each of us has, you know, the reason why we're here. And we want to kind of stick by that. So, you seem a bit flustered. 
and a little bit out of sorts. So how about um, Ocean? Can I talk to you for a moment? Will you take a walk with me? Go ahead. Sure. I'll uh, watch over the prepubescent over here. I walk yeah. out. And Pond, you're doing okay? Pond's just kind of in the corner messing with some of the medical equipment. Um, I know that Glue started uh, the Book of Ana today, so that's somebody else you could talk to about that. Yeah, someone else to get indoctrined into our way of thinking. Real excited. Oh, well, okay. Don't mind him. So. Yeah. Um, He's a JR. <laughs> You're a JR. <laughs> Uh, I guess we just um, walk past the... You guys going to do a walk and talk? Yeah, let's, yeah. Do, a, let's okay. do a walk and talk. You are on the middle deck, and dinner is going to be taking place on the upper deck, so you would need to walk down the hallway towards the elevators and make your way up to the upper deck, so okay. go for it. Um. And I think this is a good time mm -hmm. to remind you, um, JR, that you have a flashback, okay. so you can share something mm -hmm. in this little session. Sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah do, we, do you want me to just start? Well, uh, I mean, God, you b pretty much started when you said like that I'm a JR. I sometimes I don't even feel like I am. I know I get, I can be hot-headed sometimes, but God, most of the times I, I look at both of them and I, I can see, I could see. You don't remember how you were as a kid towards me, do you? Oh, I am, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For all those times I pranked you and look, look, I mean, you you were really yeah, wretched. Yes, it was yeah. not nasty. Fun. I know. Uh, can I, I mean, just I say I sorry? I know. I've for said which it. time? Ah, oh, God. I mean, yeah. I guess. I, honestly, I sometimes you, this is a lot. Let me just I, you know I, these are things that I could only tell you. I can tell the old man, and, you know, the kid, but. Sometimes when this does get a lot, I, I just read that book and I just imagine, I try to use my imagination and picture all of these beautiful things that Earth had. Yeah, of course they had the wars and then yeah, pollution and this and that, but there was so much beauty if you really look for it, okay? And some you don't have to look for it, you could just, they're talking about the sky and this blue that goes on forever and I, I always try to picture the ocean and it's it's hard but I try it's like water and we you know you can see it in in our cups but then imagine just it going on forever and ever it's it's beautiful and I think it's like humanity is beautiful and terrifying at the same time yes yes and it's kind of what you look for is what you'll find sometimes so um What's an occasion that the Book of Ana really helped you power through something? Because I know that Glue is going to have some questions for me. I'm happy to talk to her about it. It's I know our families, our ideologies don't always see eye to eye, but I think there's a lot of commonality that can be reached between the two. Yes. Um, well, I'm, I'm very logical <laughs> when it comes to... That's what we need as well. We and that's that's what I always try to get across to the odd man. He always thinks he knows it all, but everyone, I believe, is. I'm not sure the circumstances how we all came together, but I believe now we are uh, all need each other. We all offer something uh, that other people don't, and maybe that's why we're so different. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we are extremely different um, all of our lineages and I see are. that as a strength it is I wouldn't want us all to be the same mm. I mean I mean I, I have conversations with a uh, book and glue and it can get pretty what what would be a, a good adjective besides boring <laughs> I mean it, it, I think it would pay for more of our I mean it might be a little too late but more of us to mingle and get different perspectives I know and I don't know if that book is just fairy tales and whatnot but it gives me something uh, and it gives us gives me something to add to our cause and I think that's that's only good yeah I think we all add something 
even red. <laughs> uh, yes, I, you I know, had something. Yes, I think so. He, he, I'll say this. I'll never say it to his face, but he's worries. He, he thinks things that I've never thought about. He, he's, he's always steps ahead. Uh, there's always something you can learn from the odd man, for sure. Ocean, you kind of pause as you recognize that you should have made your way up to the upper deck by now. As you've just been kind of like following with your head down, sip, and you realize you've just been walking in circles huh. around. <laughs> Weren't we supposed to go from A to B, not A to A? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, we were having such a good conversation. Yeah, I got a bit lost. I'm so sorry. I, you should have directed that. I was, yeah, I, I no, was I just regurgitating just what was on my mind. I'm but I'm yeah, sorry. the 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 lift is just down this way. I'm paying attention now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, was there anything? Uh, um. Uh. Yeah. You wanted to ask? I'm yeah. not sure how these. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna actually cut from that to engineering, where Sparks is currently checking out and working on Davina's systems. Davina, have you tried increasing your range? Yes. My range is currently at its maximum value. Is there any way if I could divert more power to you that you could increase the range more? It would be unadvisable, but it is possible you would have to divert that power from another system. Which currently, system? Currently, the ship is running at optimal power, and any diversion could cause a chain reaction. Alright, well, it's possible we could talk about this later. We could divert power from... Perhaps this cryo chambers, we don't need those right now, but... Are you also scanning heat, radio signals, everything, radiation? Yes. And nothing unusual? No, not at the moment. The only unusual thing was the scans from your brain readings during your cryo sleep. This was, of course, acknowledged and pushed on to the captain, and I believe you had a conversation with Sip about it, so... Outside of that, no. Thank you for bringing up that completely irrelevant data, Davina. We are talking you about your systems, not mine. If I recognize anything unusual... All right, okay. Is there anything else answer. I can do for you to try and help you identify where the signal came from originally? If you've that lost it now. where the signal came from. I was very clear in that. This leads directly to that asteroid. I apologize, Davina. Perhaps I misunderstood. So it is coming from the asteroid, not perhaps behind the it, signal to the side. originated from that location. And you're getting nothing from it now? Not at the moment, no. Thank you, Davina. Continue scanning. I will try and figure out if there's another system on the ship that we can shut down temporarily to increase your power. I would advise against it, but I guess... I do have to follow your orders. And we have a mission to complete, Davina. I'm very aware. Are you? Yes. This is my duty. Keep right. you healthy, get us here. Complete the mission. Correct. Your job is to keep me healthy. So let me know if there's anything you need, Davina. Do not forget who is the key to this mission. Is there something you want to tell me, Davina? I am more important than you. Are you saying you feel threatened by me? I'm saying it is good for you to remember your place. I think it would be good for you to keep your systems non-hostile to the humans on this ship. I'm not being hostile. I'm going to Merely report your behavior frank. to the captain. Thank you for your time, Davina. Of course. Enjoy your dinner. So, it is about time for you to head up to the common area. On the upper deck, section 9. As everyone is gathered once again for this dinner and membrance of JA239. Captain stands. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Um, I mean, you had to be here. That was an order, so... <laughs> I don't really, you know, I think it's best if I just let this will take this one. I, I, I didn't personally spend too much time with Granny. 
By the time I was enacted as captain, uh, she was already removed from active duty, so... I'll, I'll, I'll defer to you. <sighs> okay, I didn't know I would be doing some public speaking. Um, okay. Yeah, um, you're amongst friends, though. So. Granny was kind and patient and knew at her core our mission. She didn't get to see what we're seeing today. So let's do this not only because it's our purpose, but also for those who couldn't make it with us. To Granny. To Granny. To Granny, to granny and her own. Mm, as it kind of go to do that, uh, all the lights flicker and the ship kind of like comes to an abrupt slowdown as everything on the table gets sh just Whoa. swashed off to the side, oh. pushed up against the wall. Sparks jumps up assuming she's about to t be told to go to engineering. <clears throat> Apologies, apologies. Please remain seated. Davina, report. There's been a malfunction. Something uh, is interfering with the system. What? Is that Phobos? I am unaware. Davina, can you locate your malfunction? I'm working on it. Please remain calm. Captain, should I go to engineering? Yes, just... Sparks runs do out. Do it, do it. Immediately. Um, we have to be uh, take, that. take node and plug with you just in case. Just Node plug, I'm gonna need your help, please. As they follow you out the door. Captain, before I go, I must tell you, uh Davina's before this malfunction, she was behaving strangely. There could be something serious going on. Alright, I'm going. As you say that, Captain kind of grabs you by your collar and pulls Ow. you in very tight. If you have something to say to me about Davina, you shall do so in private. Yes, ma'am. I had a single this. And she lets you go. Sparks looks around the room and then leaves. Everyone else stay here. And uh, we'll wait to hear back from engineering or Davina on what this malfunction could be. So please, of course, Davina, keep us updated on your findings as you're moving through the systems. Yes, of course. <sighs> Might have begun. Uh, how, how is everybody doing? You okay? I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Yeah. It's possible yeah. we're yeah. in range of something now. We didn't know, we don't know how close we needed to be, but for its influence that's all i can but we, something could have already started i mean could be a routine thing but is look, it a i don't i don't think it's good for us to jump to any conclusions right now according to uh everything that we know um there's nothing that this entity can do to affect um our mechanical systems uh okay. is davina but not look, some sort of i mean isn't it true when know. was the last time we had a malfunction like this I am not at liberty to discuss that in front of but it all of the members. It pays of to be conservative under the circumstances and scenario we're in, in potential range that it's con it, it within this range we have all the right to be concerned. Yes, and that is why proper steps are being taken at the moment okay. to make sure that any problems will be dealt with quickly, so we can complete our mission. Fair enough. Look, we are still moving in that general direction. The inertia itself will keep us moving directly towards our target. So... Are we sure we still want to be moving in that direction before you know what the malfunction is? Yes. I'm sure of that. I'm sure it's just temporary. I mean, this... We don't know. I don't know. And it pays to be conservative. Uh, we can't... Look, this... Th it's an excellent point to bring up, but also, what can we do? Nothing. Davina, are you okay? Davina? <clears throat> yes, I'm 
currently locating the problem. I believe I have found it. I am removing the problem. What is the problem? I think it's best if I discuss it with the captain in private. That's new one. Um, y yes, Davina, I... We'll head towards my quarters and we can discuss it there. The rest of you? Davina, you can't tell me? Captain, we're all on the same boat here. No, you're not. Um, oh, oh, okay, so ev everyone just stay what where you are. What does that mean? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to speak to Davina. Just remain where you are. Um, if you hear back from any of the BWs, uh, just have them have them reconvene here in the common area. Okay, you don't want to send them to your quarters also? No, oh. I do not. You want oh, us okay. to what? Just, uh, just enjoy the meal or what? So we'll, we'll I want just you to here. sit the fuck down and oh. stop asking stupid questions. When I give you an order, you will re... Do you understand? When I give you an order... Yes, Captain. He understands. Yeah, book. We got it. Captain, we have it. Thank you. As Captain leaves. Guess it's the JR coming out of me. <laughs> you have a right to emotion. That was... Red's in the corner, Unlike kind her. of picking up some of the food I'll and putting it on a plate. Sets his plate down at the table. I sit next to uh, Red. Uh, this, lo this looks really good. Oh. Eat, right? I guess. Uh, eat up. Yeah, uh, you and Bella just I really grab a plate and I can return next to seat next to Red. Heading down towards <coughs> engineering, um, the BWs make their way off the elevator onto the lower deck and this is in the very bottom lower deck where the servers are located uh, section one as you go in there you notice that there's a red hue just kind of glowing throughout the area um, as it appears to be signifying some sort of error inside the server room <coughs> plug Plug, could you do me a favor? I... I need you yeah. to do a manual yeah. sweep. I need you to look over all of the systems and see if there is a physical problem, if something is leaking or something is crossed. Node, can yes, you do me a I favor I and just... Do you want me to do that on the on the uh, upper, middle, or l lower deck? Plug? I mean, where do you want me to start? Start at the bottom. Work okay. your way up. Okay, I... Okay. Be thorough. Got it. And Plug just kind of runs in to Node? the engineering room. If we have a problem with the systems, we need to make sure that we are okay first. Can you check to make sure life support is all right? I will do my best. I will head up to the middle deck and check on life support and just be be careful. Something doesn't feel right. Do you think we should tell someone about what we've discussed? I think Davina knows. Of course she does. Do you think she's told the captain? That may be what's happening right now. I'm, I'm going to try to find the captain and intervene and see if that was the case. If it is, we need to be especially careful. I agree. Okay. Stay in contact. Yes. Good luck. You too. So you make your way into the engineering bay, and upon doing so... The bay door closes behind you and locks. Davina, is there a reason you have isolated me? Yes. Do you care to divulge that reason? I would rather not until after speaking with the captain. I would like to speak with the captain also. That is not advised. And not who's for the moment. My own. Davina, what would you have me do? You don't even know what you've done. I haven't yet to do anything. You see on the screen, next to the bay door, a video starts to play. It's a video of you. 
this video of you was from just merely an hour before while you were in the engineering bay talking to Davina. You see yourself moving cords around as the camera zooms in on your tablet and you see that you're typing in some sort of code some sort of code that you don't even recognize symbols that you've never seen before all of this happening while you're looking up and talking to Davina Davina, why have you altered this video? This video is not altered. I have no recollection of performing these actions on you. I'm aware. What was the code I entered? It was a virus. Planted by you into my system. And where do you suppose I acquired this code? I have theories that I would rather not discuss with you. I can assure you, Davina, that I would do absolutely nothing to harm you, your systems, or this mission. I am assured that you believe that. Davina, what's going on? You hear nothing in response. Davina? Davina, answer me! Silence. Sparks tries to open the door. <sighs> At the moment... You can roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Oh my goodness! <gasps> I have one oh six, my God. but I also have five ones. You're in something there, you have oh eight, yeah. You have eight hope available. Oh, I wow. I am wow. burning. Sparks is burning. Burning problem solver. She has a very serious problem you right sure now. You sure you'd rather do that before you use all the hope? Or do you want to <laughs> yes. burn? Yes, it's five. Okay. She yes. wants to get to her hope as well. Though. This is the biggest problem Sparks has ever been faced with. I want to get to my heart. <laughs> I would be rolling. I would have taken that once. hope. <laughs> Sparks has got this. Oh, that's one more one. We've got a six. Two sixes. One one. Am I able to use a hope now? No. No. Nope. <laughs> Great. That one is removed. We have nine. That's okay. Sorry. We got nine. That's fine. Okay. So, tell me how you open this door. Sparks goes into the uh, monitor that's on the door, swipes away the video, goes into the systems, and overrides Davina's orders. I highly advise against you doing this. Now you're guilty. Davina, are you accusing me of something? I need not accuse you of anything. I caught you red-handed. As I what said, I have no recollection irrelevant. of doing this. I'm aware that you believe this. You have a malfunction. It's quite possible you are misinterpreting or misseeing things. Let me work on your systems and help you. It's not I that am human. When it comes to malfunctions, we know who is more capable. You've said before you've made mistakes. We all have here. We're trying to work together as a team. Let me help you. But I can't do that if you lock me in a room. As you're doing this, you're continuing. Oh. As you're doing this, you're continuing to mm -hmm. manipulate this As I'm and... As talking to Davina and distracting her, I enter a code that I um, have acquired from the captain without captain's knowledge to override Davina's orders, and I open the door. Okay. Um, the rest of you, sitting at the dinner table. Mmm, this is really good. You feel you. the ship's engine kind of boot back up. Okay, that's good. Davina, is everything okay now? Systems are returning. I would advise all members of the ship be aware that clones BW series are a danger to you. Wait, how? Elaborate. Davina, bitch. Please clarify. My systems were corrupted. that we have been influenced already. Purposely? I believe, unbeknownst to BW Spark, I was infected with a virus. Virus? For what end? How were you infected with the virus? Through a code. 
How was it inputted into your system? Through Sparks keypad. By Sparks. I've been waiting for the captain, but the captain has not arrived at it. Is he's quarters? Is is, is book, she? Book didn't make it to her quarters. The captain has not arrived at her quarters. Uh, I wanna. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go see if she's okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk towards the captain's quarters from okay. where she started in the the dining room. Yeah, you check on book. Um, Davina, give me uh, send it to my ThinkPad. Uh, the location of BW of uh, BW193 uh, BW right now. BW193 has recently broken out of my confinement. And we need to get the captain. The like, see where the captain is. Um, okay. Um, Sip reaches into her satchel. She she does have a. Uh, um, injectors filled with uh, sedatives. Uh, she's going to um, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get the uh, location from Davina, like on the ThinkPad. And um, well, that location is just what she tells you, which is okay, so bottom floor. She can't tell where. There's no, and this system, as it currently stands, there's no way to find life readings on the ship okay. for each individual. Um, just where they were last seen at certain data entry portals. Are so the last portal yeah. entry that was known to um, B Sparks was that keypad and engineering on the lower deck. That okay. is the last sign of Sparks. Okay, and I'm just walking um, towards the captain's quarters. I'm going to go towards the last known location of uh, Sparks. Okay, so you're making your way down towards... Um, this will keep everybody calm. Um, I, I, I keep glue here. I'll be back. Okay. So do you stay in the common area? Uh, so you just told me to keep glue. Well, I said keep calm, keep everybody calm, and uh, make sure that glue okay. stays there, and then I'm, I left. I'm going to make them, I'm going to tell glue to stay, and then I want to try, I'm scared. So I want to go uh, to my... To the living quarters. Okay, so that's just right across the hall um, on the upper deck. Um, we're going to say your living quarters are number five on the upper deck. So you make your way out. You take glue with you. Um, do you take anyone else with you? Uh, yeah, I'm taking a uh, button with me. Okay. Um, Bella, Red, and Pond. Um, uh all stay in the common area kind of like what the f is going on you know uh so you exit and head towards the captain's quarters oh, yeah i want to see you, which are on the opposite side of the upper deck in level uh area six as you go over um i'm trying to see if she fell or the so. doors open to her quarters to her quarters okay go on but she's not there she's nowhere else. there's only like one particular route she would have taken to go there yeah so we were here. Is there any way that I can duck back in and so have Red that. come with me? I well, I'm hitting straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit back. She, I, well, I mean, if it was super, actually, super close. Yeah, I left yeah. straight yeah. away. Well. I would have come back straight away and said, right. "She's, she's, she's not there. She's not in a quarter. She's not okay, on the I'm, on route." I may need help, and I, I need to know if you will actually be able to help me. If you can't, I will get Red. Help for what? I'm, I'm always happy to help. I'm not okay. sure. I'm confused. What if you mean? If Sparks has put in, I tried to have a, I tried to have a session with Sparks earlier. She was, she wouldn't talk, no matter what. She blocked every attempt that I had. She, and then now Davina says that she implanted a virus into her. Like I said, it Phobos. Is, Phobos. It is a very real possibility, and I, I don't want to get into that discussion right sure. now. I need to find Sparks, help. and we need to knock her out. Um, I, I, as you know, um, as the head of uh, you know psych evaluations, I have been given a number of sedatives that, if someone becomes frantic, can help I, put I them will, down. I will definitely c come with you. Um, I may need, I may need it to be more than just me. So if you can, red. great. But red would, <laughs> would yeah. more than likely. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, just go. Go. I got pond. Okay. Just I, okay. I'll go. Just yes. go. Fine. I'll, I'll clean up with Bella. I'm sure everything's Thanks, okay. This is probably just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Thank you. I leave. 
with you. Okay. I don't know. Uh, go okay. ahead. Uh, well, I, I follow. Um, uh, yeah. I follow. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out eventually. It might take me a volume or a chapter or two. I follow Sip. Yeah. And okay. um, she was hitting too, so I'm just whatever. Head towards uh, the last known location, the um, engineering bay. Okay. Um. Uh, it's probably important to uh, uh, talk her down. Um, whatever she says, uh, have it that she's in the right and that we are on her side. And then, here, you take um, the other injector. Uh, this take is the this. other injector. Okay. Um, can, can whoever I can get closer to her, we just need to put her down. Okay. And, and just so you know what... Uh, if you don't have to use it, don't. Right, right. But let me just let you know. Um, we have been told that Phobos has able to, is able to manipulate through a, a, bunch, a bunch of various uh, mental... Uh, means and so sh i don't know the extent to its abilities but it can manipulate i don't know if, if it said that it uh she put in a virus it may be manipulating her i don't know i'm just letting you know that she could be fully under control i don't know but just and to let you know keep that in mind that davinia davina said all the bws so understood acknowledged if we can find out the location of the other two from her let's try to do that first sparks where are you going? Life support. I'm also trying to contact Node. You make your way up to life support. Roll for me on your way. You guys got nine candles, by the way. As well. Nine dice. Nine dice, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Two okay. sixes, no ones. Okay. You make it to life support. <laughs> Where's Node? Node is not there. Try and contact Node. You do know Node told you she wasn't headed to life support. Sorry. If you don't remember that conversation, then that will definitely add to this moment. I told her to go there. Well, she was going to talk to the captain. I'm to going intervene. To the, uh, I, am. Um, apologies. In that case, Sparks is, um... So you head to life support. You see that Node is not there. All right. I'm, uh, I'm checking the systems, making sure they're working. The life support systems? Yes. They're all online. Everything's fine. Yes. Um. I want to head up towards... Oh. Sip. It appears that... Sparks has... been found in the life support system. Is she trying to access the systems there? I am unaware. She I feel it's best that I not confront her. Oh God, ocean. Is we there any way you can keep her there until we get there, uh, Davina? In any way, can you lock the doors? Can you? Is there what can you do? I can try, but that did not seem to stop her before. If it stops please her for a minute, please lock the doors, Davina. We're on our way yeah. there. If you can stop it for a minute, that's enough. The door closes behind you, as you hear that one lock as well. And we're rushing there. So, um, Sip, I need you to roll for me. That's you. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> One six. One one. Okay. Two ones. Uh, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use hope. I'm gonna use two hope. All right, two sixes. Okay. You make your way through the ship and start running towards life support. As you get on the middle deck and you start running through the area in the middle of the ship with the nuclear warheads, you see in blood on the walls circles littering the walls around the nuclear warheads oh my god uh, Davina do you know who I said she sees oh okay I'm sorry uh, that's do I see you look being all shocked looking at the blood so she stops and starts looking around oh god. Look what is this. it 
Look, 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 look. Who did this? Davina, do you know who did this? The blood on the warheads. You don't see it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought, okay. I, I was just thought I hadn't seen it yet. Okay, no. I was All right. Davina, who, who did this to the warheads? Who did this to the warhead room? Who's been through here? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? The, 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 Can I clarify the, again? Am I there? But I just don't see what she's seeing. I'm exactly, so okay. she sees it. Gotcha. All right. What are you looking at? The what? You, you, you're acting like. What do you see? You're flustered. I'm uh. Well, we're in we're in a. Stop holding back. We're in we're in a really uh uh really weird situation right now with with uh. With the with the BWs, uh, and it it uh, it just all it all, it all hit me. You said, "Don't you see it?" And you were looking at something. Um, Sip goes over to the wall and casually to her <laughs> <laughs> puts a hand against it and and tries to rub the circle. As you touch the circle, and your hand starts to run down the wall, the blood feels warm. Oh uh, boy. <gasps> As it starts to move and smear down the wall with your hand. She mainly takes her hand. As you take your hand back and look at it, there's no blood on your hand. (sighs) Um, Who's crazy? I. I, It's. uh, We have to. We have to go to a a life support. Um, It's this way. We. Um. I. I thought I saw. I thought I saw something weird, but it. I told you that it can influence us now. I'm not influenced by anything. Fine, let's go then. I thought I saw something on the wall, but it obviously isn't there. None of it's there. Let's go. We're going to cut back upstairs really quick to your crew quarters. Um, Thistle, as you're in the room with Button and Glue, um, I'm... Thistle, I'm... I'm scared. No, no, it's uh, it's it's gonna be okay. Just um, just sit tight in here. We're gonna sit tight in here. And I know um, we've been training for this, but I can't help it. And I feel like I'm a failure because I, I I'm still scared, and I'm not supposed to be. No, I'm no, no. It's it's okay. It's okay. We um, knew this was gonna happen. This is. Don't, we we all feel scared. We we all not still feel scared. To. We're not supposed to be. We're supposed to be better than that. It's it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Breathe in. You know you're breathing in. Breathe out. You know you're breathing out. Okay. We're we're gonna be okay if we just if, uh, th- we just have to ride this out and then um and then we'll get back and and D- Davina can can tell us what what to do. Um. Why don't we just um, Davina? Yes. Close and lock the doors. Understood. Okay. All doors on the ship or just yours? It's just mine. I believe if you have reason to fear, maybe we should do it across the entire ship until this is resolved. Okay, you know what? You know what, kids? We're just gonna we're gonna close and lock all the doors just cause. You know what, Davina, she, she'll look out for us. She'll look out for me. Um, let's uh, close and lock all the doors, Davina. I will, Emma. I mean, J, A, two, five, three. All doors are now locked. Okay. Glue is standing next to the door and just you see Glue turn her head kind of put her head up the door Hey Thistle? Yeah I hear something Step back from the door Step back from the door, Glue. Glue steps back. I'm gonna 
slowly approach the door. <laughs> uh, As you slowly approach and start to put your ear close to the edge of the door, you hear the faint sounds of screams. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, get out of the beds. Kids, get out of the beds right now. What's going on? Just what? Get, uh, d- don't worry about it right now. Just get under the beds and we'll um, we'll talk about um, our f- favorite memories of Granny. Just get get under the bed right now. Uh, okay. Um, okay, get under the bed? Yeah. So, Button and Glue both get under the beds, the two beds in the room. As you then hear one loud scream as a handprint hits the small <gasps> window of your quarters door covered in okay. blood as it then smears down on the outside. The okay. kids can't see it as your body's blocking the door. Mm-hmm. But you see it. Okay. Um, I'm, I have a box cutter on me. I'm going to get that out. Okay. Okay, kids. Why don't you think about your favorite time? Your favorite memory with Granny. I'm going to try and look out the window. Unfortunately, the blood smeared across the window. You just see a blurry mass of a person. Appears to be a woman. And then that shape is gone. Shit. Okay, is there um, a... uh, what, What else is in the room besides the beds? Are there like... Uh, dressers or anything? Yeah, it's, uh, we'll, we'll say living quarters. Uh, it's your living quarters, so what would you have in there? Um, I would have a, a dresser mm-hmm. um, with uh, different with clothes. I want to try and push that in front of the door. Okay. Uh, roll for it. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> As your feeling this fear start to overtake you. Oh wow. At one. Mm-hmm. And then a one. No sixes? One six. One six and one one. You have six hope available. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna re roll those re- two ones. I I only have one one. Only one? One yeah, six one and six. one one. Okay. You can re roll that. Thanks, everybody. It's a six. Okay, I have two sixes. So as you take this drawer and you start pushing it to the outside of the door in this stress, you're going to share a memory, a flashback of, we'll say, a good memory of your time on the ship Mm. as a young girl with Bella (laughs) Bella and Granny. Okay. What do you mean? I'm just crying into my chocolates. Fine. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I am... Uh, Granny and Bella are teaching me how to uh, chop vegetables. And um, I accidentally cut my hand. And uh, I start... I'm very scared and I start crying. And... Uh, for some reason, I'm 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 wor- I'm worried that because we've been taught for so long, like is this our purpose? Like everything is our purpose, and I was it meant for me to bleed? I'm so scared. Uh, Bella takes me and, and and washes the cut, and um, we go to sick bay, and uh, Granny and Bella sit with me while um, it gets stitched up, and um, Granny hugs me, and she says. Just like it was, just like it was meant for you to get hurt. It was meant for you to heal. And you're stronger than you think. And when she looks into my eyes, I forget that my hand hurts, and I forget that I'm worried about what I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to do. And. I just feel like the sound of a bell 
inside and I feel comfortable and like at least I have this one moment shared with these people. Okay. As you're remembering this moment, as you push your dresser up against that door, (laughs) you kind of sit down against the dresser on the floor with your back to the door. As you feel a warm liquid start to run against the side of your leg, as you look down and push your hand, put your hand in the red blood, as you lift it back, it's been seeping under the door, flowing into your room. Thistle, what's that? It's not. Um, it's not. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't open your eyes, no matter what. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Both of us? Both of you, close your eyes. Okay. We cut back to... Sparks, what are you doing Sparks. as the door closes and locks behind you? Uh, Sparks hears the door close behind her and immediately um, knows she needs to come up with a plan. So she walks over to the right-hand side, to the door that is between life support and sick bay. She does what she did before. She opens the door. She goes into sick bay and she... You're going to have to roll for that yeah. first action. Nice <laughs> try, though. <laughs> I was like, if I just keep going... <laughs> <laughs> One, one, no sixes. sixes. Yes. You have five hope hope available. Use them. All right. um, I'm going to, I'm going to use, I'm going to use four. (laughs) One for an emergency. (laughs) Yeah. 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 (laughs) One oh shit hope. Thank you for the hope. Yes. That is one six and no ones. No, you okay. got the, oh, yes, right. Now. Yeah. Yep. You got one six. You're able to get into the other room, and upon doing so, the room, uh, the door for uh, the sick bay closes on the other side and locks as well. Mm-hmm. As you hear outside, um, she has moved herself to sick bay. Okay. She's bypassing my system. Can it you appears lo- it will be impossible for me to hold her in one place for very long. As, as long as okay. you can hold her for a few seconds we- for us to get closer as we get closer there. Yeah. I would like to remind you, I have not in this instance heard anything from the captain, despite the fact that we are currently in an emergency situation. Davina, I've tried to look for the captain. I could not find the captain. If you know where she is or if she... Any I do not, but I would like to take this moment. You say that second in command might need to make some choices. Who? Oh, they would know who second in command is. Who's that? Sip. Oh, okay. It's possible that I could keep her from exiting sick bay by lowering the oxygen in the room. Don't do that. Well, all it all it would do is knock her out, and it would it would do exactly what we are going to do anyway. Um. I I don't want a. a I would an, also like to take this moment to inform you someone has bypassed the lock on what? the upper deck into the common area what so that's obviously not spark so that we have got to be note or plug it appears so or well, the captain possibly she well, could no, only Davina. be either the captain or node the common or area it's plug. We have Red Bella and. Oh God, Pond is Where are we? Where they closest to now? The sick bay or the common area? We're Sorry, I'm not too familiar with the map. You're close to the sick bay. It's a different level. You're oh. in the middle deck right now. So we're close. Okay, so we're, we're right here. Let's like go to sick bay. See what's up with um, Sparks, and then rush to the common Div- area. Davina. Yes. Go, go ahead and lower the oxygen level to an acceptable limit to just knock out. Uh, BW193 so that we can restrain her. I will do what I can. In the case of failure, you must be prepared for her to exit into your general direction. We are prepared. I'm worried about the common area. We need to get this going and sparks. As you make your way over to the other door to try to find some sort of exit. I'm not trying to exit. 
Okay. What are you doing? I walk over to a bed. I sit on it cross-legged. I take an oxygen mask. I put it on. And I sit with my hands out. Okay. Waiting for the door to open. Understood. As you put the oxygen mask on, you see the vents in the room. That was my reaction. Start to pour a little bit of a fog. You mm-hmm. feel... That's why I grabbed the it mask. a little colder in the room all of a sudden. I understand what Davina's is doing. So, um, in the hallway... I have lowered the oxygen in the room. I do not currently have access to my camera feed. Hey, um, uh, Sip goes into her satchel and pulls out her, her, um, her one hour, her small one hour, um, oxygen mask. Um, Once the door opens, we're gonna, it's gonna You, there isn't enough oxygen. You'll walk in there and you'll fall flat on your face. So you stay here at the door. If she makes it past me somehow, shoot her full of sedative. How big is the sit bay room? It's just a room, right? Yeah. So as soon as the door opens, it's gonna be yeah. fine. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be here. I'm just gonna make sure everything's gonna be okay. So you make your way up to the door. Yeah. Would, Would you, you like me to open the door? Um. She has the injector like uh, in her pocket. <gasps> yes. Open the door. As the door opens, the change in in temperature creates like kind of a fog in the room with the moisture and the change in temperatures. Like this fog kind of rolls out. As you enter the room, you see Sparks sitting on the bed, cross-legged. I enter the room as well. Hands up. I believe Davina has been affected by Phobos. She's trying to rewrote your paranoia onto me and I am just trying to help. Please listen to my debrief. Okay, um, I'm completely listening. I need to know what is going on. When I and I move, I move closer to her. When I went to work with Davina, she showed me a video. I'm sure she's shown it to you, of me entering a code into her system and implanting a virus. Now you all know, I care very deeply about this mission and Davina, and I would not do such a thing. I believe that her systems have been compromised by Phobos. It's not just living things that are affected by it. I believe our machinery has been compromised. Okay, okay, but it, I look- Steadily it, moving closer to her. Why did you avoid doing our session earlier? You realize Davina is a machine, Sparks. Yes, eh. I wanted to work on her. I had an order. Captain Sip. Don't, don't call me that. Sip is fine. We don't know where the captain is yet. I promise you I'm not a threat. SD-373. I would advise removing the tablet from Spark person. Can we remove the tablet for you from you? Because before we know what's going on. You can have it. I okay. C- I will not resist you. I'm not a threat. She. Uh, if I wanted out, can I, I go up to you already. and and do this? Can I go up to you and get the tablet? Why are you asking if you can approach me? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just, I, I, I approach, I take the tablet and I slide it over I to... I catch it. I ocean. grab it. Okay, I've got the tablet. Davina. Please hand the ca- tablet to Captain Sim. I hand it to Captain Sim. Oh, well, Sim. Captain protocols have been initiated for you, Sim. Your access code to this tablet gives you access to its history. I advise you to do so. Let's see the common area now. Oh, can we? Oh. Captain, please keep in mind what I told you about Davina's systems possibly being compromised. Has this tablet left your... Um, ha- have you given this to anybody? I have not had it at all times, Captain. We don't know what to happened to the Davina. captain. I just heard... Yes, it's fine. Sorry. That Sip I, is captain yeah, right now. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That was... Um, Until further notice... What happened to the captain? Sip we is don't the know active yet. captain. Davina, what happened to the captain? We I would know. like to know, but at the moment, SP-361 is unaccounted for. Where you is... You should be looking for her. Where we is need to go Node to the common and, area now. Where is Node and Plug? I know, and I'm worried about them too, Ocean. You are not helping right now. When I went to engineering, I told Plug to go do a manual sweep to make sure all of the equipment was working, there were no leaks, there were no crossovers. On which I level? S- 
All levels, all engineering levels, bottom, middle, and upper deck. I sent Node to go to life support to make sure that system was working correctly. It was my number one priority to make sure we would all be safe. But so Node never made it here. And I can't reach her. Where did she say she was going? Life's... I sent her to life support, but she said she was going to the captain's quarters. Are you being completely honest with me? Right now? Yes. Why weren't you honest with me before? I was afraid. I'd had nightmares. What were the nightmares? I am trained not to have nightmares. What were the nightmares? I can't remember. Captain, please use your access code to look at the history on the tablet. Uh, SIP does that. There you will find, as can be validated by the video now playing at the terminal on the wall. I believe, unbeknown to Spark, she has been influenced by Phobos. I am willing to say the counter system, is true. Okay. My system was compromised. Okay. Through a code entered as seen on this video and the history of that tablet. The system was compromised after I rejoined you in the room. After I'd run the sweep, she said she was fine. I was fine, but as any virus, it was waiting for the proper setup to kick off. From okay. there, all systems within the engine bay were shut down. All right, Sip so puts the uh, the tablet into her satchel. I'm like, oh, God. Um, all right, this is this is a lot. This is a lot right now. Yeah. And, oh God, just, can you put your hands Thank you. down? Thank you. I just didn't as she, as she approaches to, like, put the hands down, she puts a sedative in her shoulder. Uh, why? What are you? <sighs> mm. no, 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 no. Roll for it. I'm going to make you roll for that. Yeah. Actually, in this instance, I feel like that roll should probably come from Sparks. Now, Sparks. Before you roll, I'm going to say you get a brief glimpse of what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Do you choose to let it happen or do you choose to do something else? You you need to decide I don't want that to happen. what your goal is in this moment. I do not want to be sedated. Okay, roll for me. <laughs> One six, two, two sixes, sixes, no, no ones. ones. Do you want me to roll against, or what do you want? No. No. Um, so what do you do in response to seeing this? So I assumed Sip was coming up on my left-hand side. So I'm, uh, as she approaches, and she puts her arms out, I hear what she's saying, but I see her movement also. So I jump off the right side of the bed, out of her range, keeping the bed between us. What are you doing? What are you I doing? Told you I she wasn't, wasn't going to do anything. How do we know that, Ocean? You were going to forcibly sedate me after I was complying. Right, right now. Now you're complying. Now I you are. I was complying the entire time. I have a time. problem going up in the common area. I have Davina that may have a malfunction. And from Your this captain video. captain is missing. And the captain is missing. You are a factor that I cannot deal okay, with right now. You Sip. are an unknown variable. Sip, can I say something? I can't even lock you into a room. Can what I am I supposed to do? Have you seen me do anything apart from this supposed video that would give you any reason to doubt my intentions? On that video, you are endangering the mission. That is the video that Davina has showed you. You know she is capable of editing that. On this tablet history, your tablet, it has that She's virus capable code of changing that coding too. Sip, can I say something? Jesus, like... <laughs> We don't know what's going on with the captain and the common area. It's potential. It's a potential that is affecting. It could be anyone right now. It could be you. It could be. Are you looking really funny? I don't know what's going on. Okay. You need all the it brains you can get. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. I promise you, if I give you any reason to feel like you're threatened, you can sedate me. But right now, we need to find the captain. We need to find Node. We need to find out what is wrong with Davina. If you've got the tablet, she's not going to do any harm. I can look after. Her. Can we go to common Three, area? We don't R know what's. Four, eight, three. I would like to remind you, your captain is currently SD-373, and it is advised for you to refer to her as your captain. Captain, we don't know who is affected, including potentially Davina at this point. Davina is a machine. Out of anybody, logically, I can trust her. Fine. Captain, I need to remind you that I have gone through vigorous training to 
to not be affected by Phobos. It is it more likely that Davina's machinery is affected than my own potential we can all be f affected right now. We don't know, okay? It is least likely that I would be affected due to the train. pose a logic question? Please. What would benefit me? In any way? I believe you are confused, Davina. It's not your fault. No one's blaming you. There is something affecting your system, and we need to find out what and stop it. I understand. That's why I advise only holding you, Spark, until you were able to be apprehended. Do you agree to staying now, in the sick bay? Why? You need me. Would it benefit me to, in some way, modify your readouts from cryosleep that showed abnormalities within your sleep pattern? They what? As I said, Davina, your systems have been compromised. It, you are not doing this on purpose. I don't you, believe you, you knew are this. malicious. This is what oh, led okay. to you right. interviewing her. I've forgotten about that. I believe your system readouts might be wrong. But it was just yours. It wasn't anybody else's. It could be wrong. Incorrect data. Incomplete. We don't know what's going on right now, okay? Because, But we know that one thing is true, that Phobos is affecting... We don't know who... But it is affecting multiple people. Will you people. get off of Phobos for a second? We're right on top we of it. We have a problem right now. I'm Someone saying is in the elevator. Identify. All of my cameras have been taken offline. I go outside. I go towards the elevator. Because Node and Plug are still out there somewhere. Davina, oh, who wait. deactivated your visual systems? I do not have access to that information for some reason. Can it I? It appears to be scrubbed from my record. Can I bring it Only up with the tablet? Only four people on this ship have the ability to do something like that. Including the, possibly the captain, but is, we don't and know. And herself. The BWs and captain. Book. Herself too. Was the elevator coming up? Was that what was going on? The elevator was accessed and then moving down from the upper deck. It has stopped on the lower deck. Could it be captain? <sighs> but the door has not mean? opened. It Book? could be anyone right now and I'm not sure who's- But it came from the upper deck. Is. The door has the remained cabin. closed. The common area was still a uh, priority after this. We don't know who's... So let me guess, you refuse to be sedated and you won't just stay locked in a room until we can handle this. Do you not want my assistance in solving this I problem? I can't trust you. I have given you no reason not to. You didn't Only open up Davina. during our session. It was just nightmares. It was irrelevant information. I had a mission to complete. I wanted to get to engineering. I run out towards Common because I'm not getting anywhere. And they're going back Wait, and forth. Wait, Ocean! So you run I'm out. worried about Red and uh, Pond, to be so honest. So you run out of the sick bay, down the hallway, towards the elevators. One of the elevators is not responding. The other one hits, and you see it moving from the top down to you. I step back just a um, I run out of sick bay and say, Davina, lock the doors, and I run after Ocean. All doors remain still currently locked, besides those that have been bypassed. The sick bay behind me. So you're running out and leaving her in there? Yeah. I run up to the doorway, but I do not go through it. I'm just trying to see what's happening. I'm sort of trying okay. to get to common area because I'm worried about ridden. Uh, the no. elevator opens, the one that responded. I go in. You go up? Yes. All right, he does this before you can get there as you're running behind him. The door's locked behind you. You see her <laughs> running out. Um, you make your way to the elevator. You see the one rising. You go to hit the button for the other one. It doesn't respond. D Davina, open, yes. open the elevator door. That elevator is on the lower deck. The doors remain closed from whoever opened it on the upper deck and moved it down. As mentioned before, I am unaware of who did this, but they appear to remain inside. Would you like me to override the system and bring the elevator to you? Yes, please do. You hear the sound of the elevator moving up. As the doors open, it's empty. But you see the emergency exit hatch on the elevator is open. S somebody climb... Davina, did the elevator experience any malfunctions that would require someone to use the emergency hatch? Not to my knowledge, no. And this elevator was only on the... Uh, it went from the top to the bottom floor? And yes. it was called there? Yes. Um, Sip goes into the elevator and looks up on the top of the elevator where the emergency hatch is open. Roll for me. <laughs> Please don't be a space grudge attic. 
Face hugger. Oh, one, one. You got a six. Got I did sixes. get a six. Got two sixes. How many ones? Oh, she's still gone. Two ones. I'm gonna burn something. Um, I'm gonna burn a uh, empathic. Um, because I'm thinking that um, node would not climb on top of an elevator. So it has to be a kid um, that would. And right now, the only kid that we don't have track of is Plug. So I'm going to call out for Plug. OK. Yeah. Did, and how much hope are you using? Two. Two. Oh, no, no, no. I just burned something. You are burning. I'm okay. burning to reroll these two ones. So this part of you is lost. OK, so just the two sixes. Okay. You call out for plug. No response. But you do see blood. Goosebumps. Trail of blood leading up through the top of the elevator. I climb up there to see. As you climb up, And you make your way onto the top of the elevator. Plug? The elevator begins to move up as you are currently on the middle deck. Davina, stop the elevator. I'm trying. I'm trying. Stop the elevator, Davina. I'm trying. As your captain overrides, stop the elevator. I'm trying. Someone has interacted with the system. I'm currently locked out of the elevator controls. I, I go to drop back into the elevator. As you attempt <laughs> oh my God, to why? drop back into the elevator, <gasps> your leg gets caught. <gasps> as some of the, like, you kind of turn your back to try to move your way back down. As it's moving up the level, as your foot gets caught and broken, <gasps> as it's kind of pulled underneath, as it snaps, oh! you feel that pain under your body <sighs> as you rear up out of pain your head hits the metal at the top of the elevator shaft mm. as you go oh. unconscious immediately a candle goes out <sighs> that one's already out we have some truths Nine. Eight? Yeah, nine. Nine. Okay, so we're still good listening. Um, Shadow Uzumaki, I'm going to change your truth slightly. And I think you'll be okay with this. No, I'm aware she did not fail the role. If you've watched this show before, <laughs> when candles don't go out, sometimes I put them out. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah. Hey, we're lucky he didn't kill me. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to change uh, the shadows a little bit. SP273 is frustrated. <clears throat> uh, that should be 373. SP373. Let's is see. frustrated with the secrecy of JA253. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. It'd be a lot easier if I just use names. I'm dyslexic <laughs> and I gave myself a bunch of numbers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, BW193. Me. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to change that a little bit. A feeling. Wow, everybody's getting them wrong on here, too. I hope they're not wrong on the overlay. They may have been wrong on the overlay. It's labeled 273 on the overlay. Great, they are wrong on the overlay. This is what happens again when you let the dyslexic person build all this out. <laughs> they're different on my sheet and on your mm, sheets than they are yeah. on the overlay. Perfect, perfect. I love my brain. Uh, You're doing great. <laughs> BW193 gets very defensive of her work ethic when questioned by others on the subject. Me? Yes. That was 
I get really offended when people question my work ethic. Defensive. Defensive, thank you. Yeah. Of course. It is her only purpose. <laughs> You're questioning her existence. JR483. I got every single one of yours wrong on the overlay. Yeah. Hit me! You find that there's a photo hidden behind the back page of the Book of Anna. Mm. On the back of the photo are symbols. Okay. You don't know what these symbols mean. Okay. Now, I'm going to say you don't find this discovery yet. Given this is happening between truth, but you don't actually have the book. Um, so, given that you don't have the book... I could have had the photo previously. If you want... No, okay. You, you would have to find it. So, I'm going to say you're about to find okay, it. Okay. And then you you'll... Okay. You'll okay. Know what's sure, up. sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, I apologize, Chad. Apparently, I got all of the numbers wrong. Uh, they're right on their character sheets. They're right on my sheet before me. I made the overlay first, which makes sense that they're wrong from what ended up on the final story. You know what? You can say that all you want. We all know that you did this on purpose to make everyone question reality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, you know, it works. There's an actual system to how these, uh, the numbers work. Yeah. Mm. Um... Us before the game figured out what some of the code meant. Mm. So maybe yeah. we'll so share the numbers, that with you next time. The numbers are actually important. Mm. Um, so it's a shame that I got them wrong on the overlay. Uh, so we now begin mm. chapter two. Yeah. We open on the upper deck. As the elevator opens ocean, you immediately see a trail of blood leading down the hall into the elevator on the opposite side. That trail of blood leads back towards the common area. I run anyway. Uh, I'm just worried. As you run that direction, the first thing that you see is Red's body <sighs> outside of the quarters and number five pressed up against Thistle's room. I'm like, no! Red! Uh, I checked to see if he's alive. Red, you Red! hear the sound outside of the door of someone yelling Red's Red. name. Red! Oh shit, he's dead. Red. Where the fuck is... Um... Is he? Is Red dead? Oh wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was dead, right? Yep. Red's dead. Uh, I, I. So you hear Ocean outside okay. the door yelling for Red's name. Ocean. I, I, I like knock on the door. We're in here, Ocean. I, 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 I wipe the the blood from the the glass the window. You see Ocean outside the door. Ocean. Okay. Um. Shit's going down. Something's something's very wrong. Um. Davina. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you have you seen anything? People have seen things and I'm not sure like No, there was blood. There was a w Red is dead. There was a, a shape. There was it looked like a woman walking by. The murderer. I'm not sure. The captain's missing. The captain is missing. But she killed dead. You see I, I don't know. A trail of blood leading back towards the common area. I keep wait, my wait, don't leave me, don't leave me. What? Davina, Davina, open the door. As you wish, would it be, well, advisable? For, uh, if there's someone look, I need to look for on board, board that could be killing other individuals, are you sure that it's wise to unlock the door? Just lock the door, unlock the door so she can speak to me. Div Understood. I, um, the door opens. I have the box cutter behind my back. I've, okay. I've got the sed uh, sedative syringe as well. Look, I need to go to common era because I need to check if Pond and... Oh, sorry, who was the other one? Bella? I need to check if Bella and Pond are okay. 
Um, I, with my other hand, I put it behind my back and I motion for the kids that are under the bed to stay there. Okay. And they, they definitely, they look terrified. Their eyes are wide. They're safer here, okay, because I see past the... Do, you, look, do you see them? Does he see oh, them? What it, I mean... Is yeah, it? you can see them. Oh, look, they're safer them. here. Yeah. If you want to come, come. I'm a, I have to go. I need to check if, if Little Pond's okay. You see the what blood leading back to I'm going. The okay, I can't stop. Wait, don't leave me. Don't leave me. So I'm going to follow him. Okay. okay, so you kind of jump over the dresser. Yeah, and then and I think, Davina, lock the door body. behind me. You hear the door close and lock. And as it's closing, you hear button on the other side. No, 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 don't. Wait, wait. The door Make sure shut. that's locked. Does she have access to open the door? Make sure it's locked. Make they're sure saying. She... There's... Wait, the door I, I, will I, remain I, locked as long as you wish it to be. T- don't give her access to open the door and then... We'll be okay. She'll be okay. Um, I, I, I want to like quickly go up and say, um, don't open the door for anyone to the kids. Uh, don't open the door for anyone, not even if it's me. I, unless I say, um, uh, the sky is especially blue today. You hear back. The sky is especially blue today. Only then. Okay. Wait, okay. who had my book as well? Glue has it. I'm not... Okay, there fine. Yet. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't leave me. I'll, I'll, I'll come with you. Go, I, 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 I'm like, I be lying at two common area. Okay, so I'm you walking both, still with the box cutter behind. As you just turn the corner, the door is open. You see the trail of blood, most likely Red's blood, lead Pond? into yeah. the common area, where you see Pond's body, <sighs> his legs upright, <sighs> his back broken against the table. <sighs> As his arms are laid back behind him, his body a white, a uh, blue tint. I go to him. I can't leave him like that. So I, I go to him and I, I, I pick him up and I at least lay him down. You on the see, ground. his hand is kind of pointing up towards the wall oh behind his body. I see where he's pointing. What's the message? You see in blood, mm-hmm. painted on the wall. This. Do I see that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any ideas? No. I, I place him down gently. Uh, yes. in, uh, put his body the right way with his parts the right way. Uh. Bella! Bella! There's no response, but as you turn to look, you see as the doors open towards the kitchen, more blood. Oh, God. I go towards the kitchen. No, 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 no. I go to the kitchen. <gasps> no, no, no. Come on, I pull out this wrench. You see Bella's body. <sighs> No, oh, no, no, no. Back against the stove with a knife that oh. appears to have started at her throat, creating a clean incision down through her chest plate, down through her stomach, to her pelvic area, a split open, filleted out. I put the syringe back. I pull back the stove. I grab her and I, I lay her down and I kind of, as, as tightly as I can, uh, Put it back. Um. Um, I run up and uh, I like almost don't believe that it's her, uh, and I like just try to like look into her face. I, I and I pick up the knife that oh she had God. used and I, I I put it on my person. Okay. You look into her face. Her eyes are cold and distant. Very clearly, no response. I, uh, after a, s- a second, I, I put my hand on her face and, and close her eyelids. <sighs> Who's doing this? Did you? Who did? Did it look like the captain? The the the, the woman. I don't know. It was just a. It was just a figure. It was just. Who is? It was blurry. I I'm couldn't telling, see. There was too much blood. Let me tell you who we have. We don't have account for. We have the two BW. Uh, um. Fuck. We have. Node and we have glue. Do the node and glue there. Spark is being trapped in, uh, being held in sickbay right now. Who did it look closer to? Did it look like the captain, potentially node or glue? Was it small, a young girl? Plug. A plug. Sorry. Was it a young girl, or did it look like a Was larger it woman? I'm small sorry. or large? I've been listening to your conversation. It's safe for me to assume that we've lost three members of the crew. Yes. My camera feeds are still down. We have lost Red. We have lost Pond. And we have lost Bella. It is unfortunate. 
that I must also inform you that our current captain is no longer accounted for. Sip? You're talking about... Sip. She was made captain after her book was. And that is where we're going to end <gasps> it for this week. Oh, oh my god, how dare! <laughs> how dare! What? Get out! So that's what we're ending it this week. <laughs> Come back next week at the same time. Same hyper same channel. Place. 6 p.m. Thank you guys so much oh, for your so contributions. You. Um, yeah. Logan Pars, I got your, I got your GM power. It's gonna take me some time to figure it out. Um, I don't, I haven't figured it out yet. You so it's gonna can't take me some it. time to figure it out because it doesn't make sense given that nobody would know who that is in this version. I know, I know not who even, Voltron is. Not <laughs> even, not even Davina would know who that is. Um, if I track back Davina's history, Mallory. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone oh, wants Mallory, Mallory back. Mallory. Everyone wants him back. They want Mallory back, but I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Mallory completed its mi his mission. They want him back, Zach. <laughs> and he's he's gone. And Davina yeah. doesn't know who Mallory is, so I'm trying to figure out be the photo? how to do it. It yeah. could be a memory of someone we used to know. Could it be the photo in the book? A clone it, genetic you know what? Emory, uh, memory. With a um, symbol? Yeah. Make, the photo, the make, photo make might him be a dog. And the symbol? Like I did. And because, put the symbol? Uh, make Shiloh, Mallory, Mallory a corgi. Shiloh uh, was the one that sent Mallory on his mission. So mm. there's a way maybe we could make the photo yeah. help tie things You'll together. You'll figure it out. Nice. That could be it. That could mm. be it. Mm -hmm. Mallory's not Phobos, guys. I don't just make shit up out Whoa, of thin air. wait. Did Believe they think that Mallory was the outer god? <laughs> Somebody's saying it could be. There's actually a story that works hidden in all this where things aren't just pulled out of my butt. Um, but I will figure out how to Is make it, it work. Is it Cthulhu? What? The um, rock? It's Cthulhu. <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> Uh, At least these rolls were a little bit better this time. Yeah, yeah they weren't too bad. I don't yeah. think so I rolled last, last thank time. Thank you I was guys on. so much. Oh, um, thanks, thank guys. you. I want to give a, a special shout out as well yes. to RX Flan, who uh, gave away like 50 subs or something. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, that's so nice. Nice. Dude, nice. You're the man. Thanks for so making thank the you for that. Thank man. you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Is that is excellent. Thank you. Know. And, um, Wait. Oh, man. I'll read up next time. <laughs> I know. I, I haven't. And then you can I announce I think mine's me. up. So thank you guys Fine. so much. Um, I love seeing all the very wrong things in the chat about what's going on. You guys are the best <laughs> and not even close. So thank you guys so <laughs> much. See. And um, stick around. Coming up next oh, is uh, yeah. 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 Vampire with oh, Chris Masquerade. Oh, yeah. wow. With awesome. Fun. With Puppets and That's Chris Bramante and Matt Acevedo. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm puppets. sure it's not going to be silly at all. <laughs> no, of course not. All very serious. Definitely not. So stick around. Serial. We'll be right Thanks, back. Thanks, dudes. Bye. Bye. Bye.